In this video, I'm going to show how to download and view Landsat 8 satellite remote sensing images in ArcGIS Pro. This is the quick version. I have a longer version that explains a lot of the choices along the way. But if you just want the nuts and bolts, stay tuned to this one. First, navigate to the USGS geo portal called Earth Explorer. Enter the location you want to search for in the search bar. I'm going to put Palomar College here because that's where I teach. Click on the correct location in the search results. You can also zoom to an area of interest and click Use Map, and it'll search for everything that's in your highlighted map window. Enter what dates you want to include in your search, and also consider how much cloud cover is acceptable to you. I usually limit it to under 10%. Click Datasets and navigate to Landsat. Expand it, click Landsat Collection 2 Level 2. You can select one of these or all of these. In this case, I'm going to select Landsat 8 to 9, and then click Results. The Landsat scenes fitting your criteria will show up in the Results window here. Click on the icon that looks like an image file to show a preview in the map window at right. Here you can assess if your area of interest is clear or covered in clouds, and you can look at the general quality of the image. When you come across the image or scene that you want to download, move your mouse over to the little hard drive icon with the green arrow in it and click that to launch the download dialog. Click on product options to look at all the different files you can download. Click the uppermost icon to download the entire bundle and save it to a location you can remember on your hard drive. Locate the file in Windows Explorer, and now you have to extract it because it's a TAR file. So extract it to the folder where it's held. This will create a new folder holding all of the remote sensing imagery files. Finally, at this point, you should open ArcGIS Pro and start a new project based on a map. So create a name for the project and a directory and press OK to establish the project. Once the project loads, look in the catalog pane and expand folders and your project folder. Now, in this case, the data already lives in that folder. You may have to set up a folder connection if you haven't already moved this data to the project folder in Windows Explorer. At this point in the analysis, you have to be aware of which bands on the sensor correspond to red, green, and blue, which will make up a natural color image. In the case of Landsat 8, red is band 4, green is band 3, and blue is band 2. Together, these will make a natural color image when put into the visualization slots of uh, ArcGIS Pro. Next, open the Composite Bands tool in ArcGIS Pro to be able to put these different bands together as a true color image. For the input rasters parameter, select all of the rasters ending in B and a number. These are each of the bands in the image. At this point, you may choose to change the name of the output raster. Once you do that, click Run, and then give ArcGIS a little bit of time to work here. Depending on the speed of your machine, this may take a couple minutes. Eventually, a composite image will load in the map window, but the colors will look off. If you look at the contents to the left, we're seeing bands 3, 2, and 1 here. So we have to change that to 4, 3, and 2. Click on Appearance, Band Combination, and then Custom to get to the place where we can decide what color goes in which visualization slot. Based on those band values we looked at earlier, put in the values of band 4 for red, band 3 for green, band 2 for blue, and then enter a name for your custom composite, something like Natural Color Landsat 8, and click Add. And there's the result, a true color or natural color image of the beautiful San Diego area showing a little bit of snow on Palomar Mountain. If you want to know how to make a false color composite and combine these bands in different ways, or you want more details on the process, check out my longer videos on the same topic.